that initial shot. Alyssa will drop her down, and maybe TZ actually going for more aggression. X10 picks two up immediately, and G2 has no response. They're zoned by the Sage Wall and forced to fall away. Yeah, they may be getting a little greedy there, trying to push past the Sage Wall. Yeah, they were able to break it, but got a little ahead of themselves off of that. But this is that mid lurk I was talking about. Not really a lurk when the whole team is around it, but you can see Glance very much in the front here. No Viper Wall or any setup for them when they do work into this B site. And you have to be concerned about Muffin, an excellent player over here for X10, but gets caught on the timing. Glance and Petra pick up a couple, and the round immediately back in G2's hands. And now trouble for X10. It's all Glance. Finds the third. Alyssa alone. Trapped in mid, and G2 has no awareness. A slow orb down for the moment. And that spike is ticking. Mimi spots her. Alyssa will find the first. A second onto the headshot. She needs just one more glance. Already huge in this round, and now holding down, hiding behind that wall. She has the time on her side. This time, G2 will head more akin to their uh, normal style with this composition. I think the biggest difference, not having that Sova to drone out. More patiently, maybe bring down that Viper Utility and play these longer range fights. Very forward, has this rendezvous <laughs> set up, but Juliana's nade just finds one, and G2 is cleaning up. Holy, they do a little bit more damage, but this should just be a formality. That is, unless Alyssa can get a little bit cheeky, one versus two now, another go. Try to, at this clutch, her position very much noted, and G2 playing this one together, both members healthy, so a difficult task, but even another kill here could put her in the right direction. Up top, holds Giuliano in. Opposite side, Ray is not a super popular pick on this map, but so effective at just annihilating Killjoy Utility. The paint shell is just a little bit too distant there, so you can see the alarm bot is still going to be there. Turret still up as well as, as well as a couple of Molotovs. Just guard the entrances towards the site, the wall as well. So G2 going to have to slowly work their way, bait out that utility before fully committing, and the Viper Wall comes down to stick it on the hit. They do still have that alarm bot for contact, and Alyssa playing close. Stall utility is good, and there's even a dart to hold G2 at bay, but they're just waiting for all of this to drop. The final opportunity to come. Getting a spike plant, even with these pistols, would be great. And for X10, on this setup, their goal is to stay away from that retake, to deny early. Up top, alarm bot will make contact, and Alyssa, she's got the angle. Two frags picked up, and a pretty simple cleanup on the site. Lance is trying to work another one of these lurks, but very aware is Polly on the other side, and support available there by Baby TZ. Glance will find one, though. Has Polly isolated, but would have to push her own Molly to take that duel, which is 35 HP, and support on the way. It's not going to happen. Oh, very far forward here and alone. And Alyssa's kind of stuck here. She'll be slow orbed off. Everyone from X10 in these back lines, and Glance has that Viper's pit. Mary will try and hold the line. A dropping from above is Giuliano, but maybe Bay plucks planted. her from the sky. Three versus three. The pit holds. The wall is up, and X10 is slow on this rotate. Baby TZ just sort of stuck on this site at the moment. Was walled off, so had a little bit of protection but intelligent to hold time, get the rest of her team to rotate over on here. They have the Viper wall to make things a little bit easier, but face checking it towards Glance. You can see the gun, but no, the kills aren't there for Glance. The Viper pit is going to be coming down, and Mimi from backside finds three, turns it around with Petra on the trade. G2 secure the round. Cleared. Muffin will hold close, has a rendezvous to get out, but can't find that initial shot, so Polly just holding alone towards back yellow. G2, very committed to the scale into B, but after losing a member, things could get a bit interesting. Roomba up, but that orb will kind of segment G2 up on this hit. They have to clear back yellow, and they can not get Polly out you of this position. She'll make the decision to leave herself, but still, G2 sit at a man disadvantage. Polly finding two big kills, but here come G2. Mary on the attack, getting tagged through the Viper wall. Somehow is able to reclaim and get back towards yellow. Not spammed easily out through that one. The sage wall is going to come up, and that's going to block out the shock darts too. So very easy to get that plant down, and X10 unable to deny for now. On the shot, but G2 just wants to bite. Petra swings forward, grabs three. That's actually just to break that trademark there, but isn't able to take it down. And now Mary is pushed so deep, but I think she thought she finished that food. Ginny is still alive. She'll Boy find that trade back. And now G2 in dire straits. They've lost all their control of mid with Ginny redroning. Yeah, it's crazy because it seemed like G2 had the read in the timeout of, hey, they're not really playing mid too aggressively. Boy, Mary had that huge mid. walk up all the way into Pallet, but the X10 front line there just locking it down. And now they. G2, make this call. We work in to B because we have the Viper's uh, wall to, to play off of, and Glance finds that open space. And Baby TZ, a well-timed swing onto Petra. Two left standing. Mimi and Glance, they have the time on their side. A Sage Wall is up, a tap on the spike, but no one holding Alyssa. She's going to try and stick this one down. The swing is there, but she's gotten it half. It's only Glance, but she's found three, trying to find something more. But Mimi just cannot do it.
The 3k not enough, and it's... Muffin needs to survive back yellow. She's the only force remaining on this site. She'll find one. No safe teleport to get out, but does it matter? Muffin has found a second. They're walling out in the open. G2 trying to pinch onto her, and Mimi will find the shot. Back to a 3v3. Now that op can be recovered. Really strange wall for Mimi. Look how deep that is on the site, sort of blocking in any players from you Orange, working on towards there. Is able to get the resurrection back yellow, too, and very aware that Alyssa's going to try and swing around the side. This round, no flank for X10, but they do have the res. However, none of those players available, and G2 is holding these lines so deep. Giuliano, she's received a gift, and she is making use of it. One shot connecting the slow orb down, and Baby TZ just has to swing into this line, and somehow, she'll still get the kill. It's two still just two, two sheriffs. Now. And there's a Sage wall. They, they need to spam it so quickly. Baby TZ will get this to half. The Mollies are there. The wall is still up. Glance needs to stop this. She'll jiggle in and out. Knows the time is on her side. But Ginny, she's... I on a player like that. That is impressive. And Mary wants to go hunting for more. The youngest player in this tournament put on a role that enables her and... They're putting on a show. Glance two of her own. This is a pretty simple antique. A muffin is still alive, though. How's that old? Maybe she can get something here. In the one All right, the coping's coming in strong here. This is a good-looking G2. And yeah, that operator can do a lot of things, but not when Giuliano is on the hunt. Look at her, ready and wait. She can hear the footsteps of Muffin. Knows exactly what's going on. Petra's not even getting greedy, right? She's gonna swing under tube as soon as Giuliano makes contact. You're not gonna do anything, and Giuliano... Polly's been seen, she could be in trouble here. Or to get out, but up top is Mary taken down. Sees for the trade on a spam through the smoke. So four versus four. And glance again on this lurk. Now they have to set the alarm bells ringing. Someone has to contend with this. This should weaken the hold towards end. But notice, as this res comes through, Ginny is playing much more over towards screens. Baby TZ is able to find one and get that res off. So a big swing and also... ...has this pit up. A dart will go in. Does it spot her? Not quite. She needs this kill now and will be able to grab it now. Just Petra in close and Ginny for two. The veteran claims the round for X10. Oh, what a hero play coming through from Ginny to wrap it up. And not just that, like, we're out of this one. And X10 is trying to hunt her, but there's a timing here. Mary's made it past, not quite. Ginny on the turn, Giuliano on the trade. Ginny That's her up top of Tube. And now this is going to be a split. Again, pressure is with Muffin. She's been here before last time. A 2K to keep her team in the round, but G2 cancel. Yeah, they're just going to run away. I think Muffin had already used the teleport. 15 seconds on that cooldown was low, but not. Nah, they don't even want to deal with that operator at all. With Alyssa dead, mid-pressure here is huge for X10. It absolutely is. No utility to sort of guard that one out, but G2 aren't trying to activate a Lorik or anything like that. Instead, just instantly bursting out onto this A site. Once the utility is going to come in, Mimi has that ult ready to go, and on the zipline, you can't kill Baby TZ, but they're able to find that kill behind the box left. regardless. Not about Giuliano and what she does. She's one of the few IGLs who plays on that dive roll. Oh, yeah. And in this race composition, it's... New mid lurk for, for G2. No paint shells, I think. They just decided, hey, we don't need the satchels to get in there, so we're going to use her as that thorn in the side of X10. Giuliano killing seconds. her opposite IGL. Just break open this round for G2. And G2 has been loving this deep wall. With that lurk act activated, they hold so much space. And Mary is posted on the line. Another shot connected with that operator. Alyssa, the last standing. X10 is locked out of this one. A showstopper on top of it all. Go down as well. There is so much stall There's from There's a paint G2, shell too from Giuliano. And they Giuliano. have to push straight through. This is a death drop. 10 seconds left for X10. They have a wall of their own, but can they get past Mimi? Not yet. 10 on the clock. The plant not down. And Ginny dead. To have a flash or anything to push you on past there. Not the flashes are necessarily mandatory on this map, but definitely help when getting past this viper on the east. And that initial setup in mid, pretty cool for G2, but Jan, uh, Glitz? I'd say pretty cool as well. Three kills for yeah, her. Yeah, Glance is having a, a very nice time of things for this team when previously she's been locking in the Sage. And, and look at that aggression. Wow. G2 is just full sending it into spawn. Mary's hitting a shot with her headhunter, and now Xen is pinched. They're trapped towards me. They're forced to commit to the site. Yeah, and, and Mary's able to get the one in B main as well. Like, y there's nowhere to go. Petra is stuck there's under bottom site here, too. You're never ready for her to be swinging you on this position. Mary is revealed, and Polly's able to clear here, but there's the stage in the back Petra finds one and it's all chaos here how do you even plant a spike but you do have a double flank they're making their way back around and they've dropped into spawn to Juliana for one and Polly down no heroics for cap and exploit alert which generally they're pretty good at 
and I think actually one of the, the biggest benefits you get with something like the fade on this defensive side as opposed to a Sova is like the okay. double cats as opposed she to one. Even, she didn't even yeah, see Kitty. I mean, Mary's just absolutely Reasonable. carving. You're not going to do anything against that. X10 just hiding back towards their spawn against that operator. But I think having like multiple cats to, cats to re clear mid as opposed to just the one Sova drone does give you a lot of ways to counter out uh, the lack of having that second sentinel. Ooh, Alyssa, finding a nice shot onto Juliana there, just stomping her way through a main. That's a rightful concede. It's something for X10 here. I mean, you asked me to cope left. earlier. This would be the ultimate follow through if they were able to make something happen with this. But I think time really working against them. 20 seconds left, still have to get and through it. Viper's pit. That is insult to injury. That's and the wall again. Like Mimi is just so ready to lock this down in the last second. Ali is able to find one, but you're never spike going to be able to plant eight. this spike. Alyssa, it's only a one versus two, but again, the clock is gone. You can't get the plant off. The round is lost. G2, move on to map point. Yeah, I segue. All right, wall comes down. That's fairly committal, and Mimi takes first contact on the Sage. Instantly going to fall back, right? G2, you have numbers advantage. Maybe even go for, like, a late... Actually, Mimi doesn't have that wall, so... Can't actually do that one. Just looking to take another fight. Okay. She is confident. Would you look at that? Welcome Three left alive. Viper's pit world. is down and the plant coming through. Baby TZ will be able to convert that one. So three versus five. G2 on the retake. Resurrection for Mimi, but she's not looking to use it. She wants to fight into this pit. And look, into this pit, you have a Seeker. You have a Seize. You have Paint Shells. You have a Haunt. Like, so much utility for G2 to flush X10 out of it. There's the first layer. Seize Nade. Shorty for Baby TZ, though. If these players get wounded by the pit, she could find so much value. One HP on Glance. But Baby TZ is down just two. They're deafened. They're dead. Mimi on her third. And Ginny in main. She's trapped. And this one might just 